Well, my name's Dad, <laughs> and, um, and I'm sort of late 40s-ish, somewhere around there, 49 next birthday. My name is Ross Head. I work for Cerebra Innovation Centre, and which, which is a collaborative project between University of Wales, Trinity St David, and the charity Cerebra. Poppy is 10 years old, and she was born with quadriplegic cerebral palsy and a chronic lung condition, which mean, means that she's unable to sit up unaided, she can't stand, she can't walk, or even roll over under her own strength. But with a little bit of help, Poppy can do anything she wants. My name's Tracy Elliott, I'm Head of Research for Cerebra. Uh, Cerebra are a charity that work with families of children with uh, brain conditions and we support families through research, innovation and direct parental support. You're lucky that you, we're lucky that we can do it, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. And the other thing that you like doing is raising money, money for charities. Yeah. I, I know. Charities that she, Poppy knows. Ross and his team then, the first thing they'll do is to look to see if there's anything already available on the market. And if there is, they'll point the, the parent in that direction. If there isn't anything available on the market, that's when they get to work and see what they can design to enable the child to participate in whatever activity it is. For Poppy, we're using our, uh, as mentioned, the V-Track product range. But what we're doing is building a bespoke system which allows her to be better supported in both uh, in her triathlon chair primarily. And what that allows us to do is to custom the shape to her. Um, and then also we've got straps and a flexible system which kind of gives her a bit of wriggle room and movement but also helps her um, in a, with her condition to kind of stay stable in the triathlon chair. Our job is to make bespoke products for children with neurological conditions and in this instance we're hoping to be able to help Poppy and Rob uh, in their dream to compete in triathlons. When I came back from the first meeting that I'd had with Ross to look at his plans yeah. and I showed you the plans yeah. Do you remember that? I remember that. We had a chat about it. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that I was talking about. Yeah. Do you remember how you felt? Did you feel excited? Did you excited. You felt excited, did you? Yeah. Yeah. What about you? Yeah. Oh, I felt a bit nervous, to be honest. Why? Yeah. Why? Something, something, something new, wasn't it? Yeah. Something different. I think, I think it's fair to say that it's something that we spoke about, but Neither of us raised our expectations too high. Um, I was trying hard not to raise Poppy's expectations because it was a project that was in development. There was no certain outcome. There was no definite delivery. It was as much a research project as actually being able to develop the product. We were really sort of taking it as it came in terms of what was possible. And it was only really towards, as we got nearer to the event, that um, everyone realised that this equipment would actually work. There was, I was starting to get into the mindset that I was starting to fail Poppy by her not able to achieve stuff that she wants to do. And it would be too easy to say, well, we can't do that because there's a disability in the way. That concept just didn't sit well with me. That didn't seem like an acceptable answer. Having this, uh, this life-limiting condition doesn't stop Poppy from doing anything. She's a real thrill seeker, a real adren adrenaline junkie, and she has a real competitive spirit. And she's already told us she wants to win this triathlon. Wales Institute for Physical Literacy is about supporting people on their physical literacy journey through life. It was a unique opportunity for us to say, you know, this is part of Poppy's physical literacy journey as well as Rob's. 
and as much as we can do to support that we'll do. Hopefully this will inspire other young people who face challenges like Poppy to engage in physical activity, to make those choices and if we can support them in the future we will. Rob and Poppy are raising money for Cerebra so they're raising it through their own Just Giving page um, but also Rob's been out and about down Cardiff Bay and, and got comp companies on board that have uh, sponsored the event. Um, so they're keen to, to raise money for Cerebra that will go directly back into uh, activities like the Cerebra Innovation Centre so that we can uh, fund other projects to help other families and other children to be involved in uh, activities that they otherwise couldn't be involved in. Supporting Rob and Poppy through this journey is something that we were absolutely delighted to do and we're so proud that their triathlon was successful and they completed it so well. Absolutely brilliant. What we're finding now is that I think there's, a, there's this sort of general awareness now that we can go beyond, we can go beyond limits. Um, and there's, there's, a, there's a friend of, a friend of Poppy's called Amana who is also in a wheelchair. And she, she had the most unbelievable, it was almost like a revelation, her getting into the water and experiencing the sea, surfing for the first time when she'd, she'd never even been in the sea before. Um, and now she's setting herself new targets, new experiences. New, and, you know, maybe, maybe Robin Alana can do a triathlon if that's what she wants to do. Um, so it's, it's gone beyond Poppy's dream now. This is, a, this, is, this is a dream that's available for a lot of children and their families to do things um, that, that perhaps before we felt that we weren't entitled to have a go at.